Into is Into means interchange of ideas, and Into is a student project at our University of Applied Sciences in in Hagenberg, in Austria. It began uh, last semester in October 2006. So, yeah, we talked to our professor, to Michael Haller, that we would like to contribute in the Office of Tomorrow, which is a small project team in our university. And uh, we were a group of five students and we started as a student project. Into is a hybrid between a digital flip chart and a digital whiteboard with enhanced functionality. So it's a multimedia whiteboard. And the big uh, advantage of Into is that the drawing area is of infinite size. We wanted to create an intuitive application that everyone can use, um, even if they don't know how to use a computer. Yeah, Into is an um, application for brainstorming, education and presentation. So it, it can be used like an, a normal flip chart or a whiteboard. You can write with pens on a digital projected surface. You can also uh, load images, videos, PowerPoint presentations and stuff like that. Our target audience is definitely uh, teachers and uh, yeah, people have to talk or to present content in front of an audience. Yeah, schools, universities, my companies for meetings with Into, you have the possibility to, to save content, uh, to, to share content easily. And yeah, you can merge analog content with digital content. Into offers also the possibility to use hand feature tracking. So for the infinite sized drawing area, you can basically write with the pen as natural as you would write on a whiteboard and use your hands to navigate on the page. So by just swiping the hand, you can navigate on the page. By using both hands, you can zoom in and out the page. We wanted to make something, something different and that's what we actually have done with Into it. At the moment, Intoy has a lot of main features. For example, you have a pen tool where you can uh, write on a surface. You have a eraser where you can clear the content. You have a selection tool where you can select uh, areas and move them or delete them. You have a multi-page preview function. You can load media files such as videos, uh, images, PDFs or PowerPoint files. Uh, you can save the, the whole into project to a PowerPoint slide. Additionally, we have uh, little applications for every computer which is connected to the internet and it's possible with these applications to get, for example, uh, a remote view of the, of the Intoy. So you just click a button and you get the current view of Intoy on your uh, personal computer. Or you can also upload files directly to the, to the projection surface, for example. There is a simple, easy to use remote control. You just need to tip with the pen and you change the color or change the stroke width or s switch between pages. One big advantage is that Intoy can deal with several users at the same time, so everybody has its own menu. Everybody can uh, work on a, a different part on the flip chart. It's uh, scalable to almost unlimited uh, amount of users. The Inti menu uh, tries to enhance the functionality of ordinary menus. It's quite different to uh, well-known approaches like the drop-down menus, uh, context menus. So we tried to have a very easy to use menu system. We designed a very unique user interface which uh, consists of circular shaped pie menus. Uh, the user can call them by double tapping the pen onto the surface and then the menu pops up exactly on the position where the user called it. 
and after you selected the tool it disappears again automatically or you can also fix the menu that it stays here so it's very intuitive to use it's very easy to use and yeah the buttons are very easy to understand uh, Intro has uh, four different menus it's the tool menu the object menu main menu and control menu and the four menus have four different colors so that the user uh, always knows which menu um, he's in. You have a main menu where you have uh, features like save, save a project, uh, create a new page or delete page, go to the multi-page preview, uh, close the application of course. You have a tool menu where you have all tools you need to, to work with into, such as the pen tool, the selection tool, the eraser tool, the color picker, and so on. If you have an object, for example, an image, um, when you double click on the image, you get the special um, object menu where you can adjust the properties of the object. And there is also a control menu to control um, PowerPoint and PDFs. Additionally to that, we have a uh control menu for the videos so that you can play and pause, stop the video. So this is the basic menu system. In terms of hardware, we use a, a back projection panel with a special pattern on it. So for the pen tracking, we use a note to pen and paper technology. We have a, a pen and this pen has an embedded uh, infrared light and infrared camera. And with this camera, uh, the pen can read a very small, tiny and unique dot pattern, which is printed on the projection surface. And they send the, the position from the pen directly via Bluetooth to the hosting computer. Then we also use um, a hand tracking system which uh, works with infrared light and an infrared camera again. When the user touches the panel, then uh, the camera in the back can recognize a shadow of the hand and this can be used for the hand tracking. Uh, and the software is developed in C-Sharp uh, using OpenGL for the graphic rendering and the Tau framework. This is an OpenGL wrapper for unmanaged libraries such as uh, OpenGL or uh, the Devil or uh, SDL. Intro is still a prototype. The hardware setup um, costs about um, 1,500 years. The hardware is probably much less expensive than uh, commercially available uh, digital flip charts. Currently we are working on an easy solution to, to write on an ordinary paper uh, with the digital pen and that you can easily uh, transfer the analog written material to a computer or to the into, into installation. For example, you can uh, prepare your lessons in the train or in the airplane just by using pen and paper and then you connect with the pen to the computer and send data uh, to into it for example. Into is not a commercial solution yet, but I think the software is very, very stable. There's a lot of interest from, from businesses around our university and also around the world. We get a lot of feedback via the internet. Um, now we want to improve the project and um, yeah, we hope that in the future many people um, like to work with Into. That's Into.